everyone, it's Senia with Two Bright Saves. I am bringing to you some spend 20 booster deals that you can do at Walgreens this week. Unfortunately, I could not find any online deals that were really good. So all of these deals, there are five of them total, are going to be in-store deals. They are all digital coupons and I have scenarios for beginners and also for those of you who are advanced. This is the booster that we are going to be using. It's to spend 20, get 5,000 points. If you have the paper version of this, which is the same thing, you spend 20, get 5,000 points, you can stack these two together. And instead of just getting 5,000 points, you'll spend 20 and get 10,000 points. If you happen to have this booster to spend 15, get 3,000 points, I still have it on my account and it does not expire until June the 13th. So if you still have it, you can kind of use it with some of these deals. You just remove certain items that you don't need and then you will still be able to get those 3,000 points. And this will also stack with that spend 20 as long as you get your total up to $20. If you like to skip around during the video, there will be time codes in the description and there'll be a link to a printable breakdown. This is a deal that's been going on for a while now, but every time I log into Walgreens, this keeps popping up. So I'm guessing I need to tell you guys about it. So if you are brand new to Walgreens, you can sign up for their email list at walgreens.com forward slash email. And within seven business days, you are going to have 5,000 points in your account, which is equivalent to $5, which is just amazing because you can do a lot with $5 at Walgreens. The next beauty event is going to be on June the 11th to the 13th. So I want to kind of bring it to your guys' attention now because there are some really good register reward deals that you can do starting on Thursday. And because they last for two weeks, those register rewards will be able to be used for the beauty event. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing your deals for this week. I got this picture of this flyer from Reno A21 on Instagram. So definitely check her out because she always puts up really good deals for Walgreens and also for CVS. This is the first option and it is a beginner scenario. This is a scenario I actually did in store. And what I did was I picked up six of the Crest Pro Health. They are $2.99 and when you buy two, you're gonna get four thousand points back so since we're buying six we should get back twelve thousand points at the end of the transaction so six of them is seventeen dollars and ninety four cents then you are going to pick up one of the listerine tabs for 2.99 the total for both of those items is twenty dollars and ninety three cents because we are right at that spend 20 amount you will not be able to use points on this transaction and still get the five thousand points back now for our digital coupons, we have a $4 off of two, a $7 off of three, and a $1 off of one. So the total amount of coupons is $12. Then hopefully you still have this $2 Listerine tabs coupon. If you do not have it, I have another scenario that you can do that's a beginner scenario that uses something else and you don't have to worry about using the Listerine. So the total amount of coupons that we have is $14 in coupons. So what you're going to do is you are going to pay $6.93 once the $14 in coupons are deducted and that's the amount you'd pay out of pocket. When I did this transaction, I didn't want to pay $6.93 out of pocket. So I did a transaction before this transaction with Maybelline and I got a $5 register reward. So what I did was I used that $5 register reward to lower my out of pocket. The only problem with that is when I use that register reward, it attached to the Listerine tabs and the $2 Listerine coupon did not come off. So I called Walgreens and what they did was they gave me 2,000 points for that missed coupon. At the end of your transaction, you should get back 5,000 points for spending 20. Then you should also get 12,000 points for buying the Crest. So your transaction is going to be free and a $10.07 money maker. If you have military or veterans discount, that's 20% off 
all regular price items and it ends on the 25th, you can actually apply to this transaction and you'll get a little discount on the Listerine tabs. So here is the Maybelline deal that I did before that first transaction or that first beginner option. I bought two of these Maybelline eyeshadows for $3.99 each and total they were $7.98. The coupon that I used, you can see right there, was a $2 off of one. I paid $5.98 out of pocket. Actually, it was less because this is a regular price item. I used my military discount and I paid less than $5.98. Then I got a $5 register reward back. The final cost that you will have to pay without that military discount will be $0.98 cents for two or just 49 cents each. So if you have a military discount, definitely use it on this deal because you will get it for a little bit cheaper. If you wanna see all of the deals that I posted for this week, I, there are over 20 different deals, check out the video that I'm gonna post in the iCards and also at the end of the video because I posted that video yesterday and you'll be able to view that to see all of the deals that are possible to do at Walgreens this week. For option number two, we are going to do a very similar deal, but instead of the Listerine tabs, we're gonna get some other items. So you're gonna pick up six of the Crest. They are $2.99 and the total for that is $17.94. Then you're gonna pick up one of the Palm Olives. They are $1.99. And then pick up one of the nice gourmet lollipops for 59 cents. The total for all of these items is $20.52. We are right there, that spend 20 amount. So like I said in the last one, you will not be able to pay with points for this one. But in the advanced deals, I'm gonna show you how you can actually pay with points for those scenarios and still get your points back. The digital coupons that we are using is the four off of two, the seven off of three, the one off of one, totaling $12 for the Crest products. Then you're gonna use 50 cent off for the Palm Olive. So the total amount of coupons that we have is $12.50 worth of coupons. After those coupons are deducted from the $20.52, your out-of-pocket is going to be $8.02 then you're going to get back 5,000 points for spending 20 and you're going to get 12,000 points back for the Crest. So your final cost is going to be free and an $8.98 moneymaker. Don't forget for option one and option two and all of the options, if you have that paper spend booster, you can use them on this transactions. The only time you cannot use that paper spend booster is if you plan to pay with points. So these two where you don't have to pay with points or you can opt out of paying with points, if you have that paper spend booster, use it because that's gonna give you even more points, making your money maker even bigger. For option number three, this is another beginner scenario. You're gonna pick up two of the Oral-B toothbrushes for $2.99. Make sure you read your labels carefully and that you pick up the right toothbrushes because when you buy two of these toothbrushes for $2.99 this week, you are going to get a $2 register reward. So two of them is $5.98. You're gonna pick up one of the Gillette razors at $9.99. Once again, pay attention to your tags that make sure you're picking up the right items. Then you're gonna buy two of the Maybelline eyeshadows. They're $3.99 so that when you buy two of them, that's $7.98. So the total for these items is $23.96. You can see right here that we have to spend 20, but we are $3 over that spend 20 amount. So you can actually use 3,000 points to pay for this transaction and you will still get the 5,000 points back at the end of the transaction. The only thing is if you do use these 3,000 points and you try to use that paper spend 20 booster, it will not allow you to do points and that paper spend booster. But if it's a digital spend booster, you can definitely use points and still get those points back. Just make sure that you don't use more than 3,000 points for this particular scenario. For our digital coupons, you are going to have a $4 off of two for the Oral-B 
$4 off for the Gillette, $2 off for the Maybelline, and that's going to total $10 in points. So you're going to be paying $13.96 out of pocket. And then at the end of the transaction, you are going to get back 5,000 points for spending 20, a $2 registry reward for buying the oral care products, a $4 registry reward for the Gillette, and a $5 registry reward for the Maybelline. So as you can see, we are getting back a lot of registry rewards in this deal. And if you do these deals starting from Thursday, you can actually use some of these for the upcoming beauty event. So once you get all of that back, your final cost is going to be free and a $2.04 money maker. There are certain things you want to keep in mind before you do that third option, and that's with the registry reward. So first of all, you want to make sure that you ask the cashiers or the managers if their Catalina machine is working. You can see a picture of the Catalina machine right here. If it's working, your registry reward should print. If it's not working, your registry rewards will not print. Another thing is if you have issues with your registry reward not printing, you do have a couple options. One, you can contact support.catalina.com you can see it right here or you can give them a call and what you would need to do is to submit your receipt to them and they will send you that registry reward in the mail within five business days the other option is to call Walgreens and see if they will give you points for the missed register rewards. Most times, in my experience, they always say, we have nothing to do with register rewards. That is the Catalina company. So you will need to contact them for them to give you that register reward. We won't be able to re award you the points. So if they tell you that, you're just going to have to accept it. And you could either return the items or submit your receipt to Catalina to get those register reward. Another option is to contact the manager and see if the manager will give you points because if you can show it to them in the ad, sometimes the managers will actually give you points because they know that the deal should work. So if you can get that to work, those are the other options if your register reward does not print. Another thing you want to keep in mind with register rewards is you never want to roll your register rewards on the same item. So that register reward I got back for the Maybelline, I can't buy more Maybelline and use that same register reward and get another one back. You can use a register reward from the Crest on the Maybelline and get the Maybelline one back, but you can't use a Crest register reward on a Crest deal and expect to get another one back so that's the the whole idea behind registry rewards not rolling and since we're getting so many back i thought it was important that you understand how registry rewards work a little bit and what to do if they don't print this is option number four so for this option it's a little bit more advanced because you may or may not have these digital coupons and you can also have the paper version of these coupons and use them for this transaction. So we are going to do the buy three, get one free PG laundry deal. So all of these PG items are $4.99 and you buy three and you're going to get one of them for free. So on my account, I actually had two coupons for the Tide. So because of that, I'm going to pick up two of the Tide for $9.98, one of the Tide Pods for $4.99, and one of the Bounce Dryer Sheets for $4.99. If you do not have two Tides, you might want to pick up the items based off of what digital coupons you have. If you want to use the paper coupons, they're going to be in the May PNG and you can use them for this deal. The next item you want to pick up are two of the Olay body wash and the total for all of these items is $26.97. As you can see, we are $6 over the spend 20 amount. So when it's time to check out, you will be able to use 5,000 points on this transaction and still get your points back for spending 20. The digital coupons, you can see right here, I have the two Tide liquids, one 
of the Tide Pods for $2 off. And I have an Olay coupon for $4 off. This Olay coupon is an older coupon, so you may or may not have it on your account. If you have it, you can do the deal as it's posted here. And if you don't have it, then you won't be able to do the deal like this. So the total for those is $10. Actually, there is a $2 off to Olay coupon, so you can use that if you don't have the $4 off of two. So like I said, the total amount of coupons is $10. Once we deduct that from the $26.97, our balance is going to be $16.97. At this point, you can use those 5,000 points and it's going to drop you down to $11.97 that you would have to pay out of pocket. Now, like I said, if you're using that paper booster, you will not be able to use points and that paper booster at the same time. At the end of the transaction, you're going to get back 5,000 points because you spent 20 and you're going to get a $4 registry reward for the Olay body wash. So your final cost is going to be $7.97 for six items or just $1.33 each. This is the last option for the Spend 20 booster and this is a more advanced deal. So what we are going to be doing here is we are going to be using points on a spend deal and then we're going to actually still be able to get the points back this is a deal that i probably will try to do on thursday so that i can use those register rewards during the beauty event when it comes up on june the 11th my only hope is that my stores will still have the crest pro health because if they don't that's just i'm gonna have to come up with something else so what you will need to do is pick up two of the Maybelline eyeshadows for $3.99. The total for both of those is going to be $7.98. You want to buy two of the Old Spice Body Wash. Make sure you get the ones that look like this. This one says Swagger on it, but when you are, the reason why is because there's an Ibotta rebate for it. So definitely scan your Old Spice Body Wash in store on Ibotta to make sure it qualifies for the rebate before you do your transaction and before you check out. Then you want to buy one of the Banana Boat Lip Balms. They are $2.79. You want to pick up one of the Listerine Ready Tabs for $2.99. Then you want to buy four of the Crest Pro Health. They are $2.99. And when you buy two, you're going to get 4,000 points back. And like I said, with the Old Spice, when you buy two, you're going to get a $4 registry reward. I did not say that for the Olay on option number four, but yes, the deal is you buy two and you're going to get a $4 registry reward. And with the Maybelline, you buy two and you're going to get a $5 registry reward. So the last items you want to pick up are two of the big pens at $2.99. And the total for both of those is $5.98. So the total for all of these items is $43.70. We are way over the spend 20 amount, but that's okay because we want to use points and a lot more than we did on the last two options to lower our out of pocket a lot more. These are the digital coupons that I have on my account that I'll be using for this transaction. So there's a $2 off one on the Maybelline, a $4 off two on the Old Spice. I have a $2 off one for the Banana Boat Lip Balm. There's also a $3 off two. This $2 off one coupon is an older coupon, so you may or may not have it. The coupon I have for the Listerine tabs is a $2 digital and I also have a $2 printable that was on coupons.com a long time ago so check your coupons you might have it as well there is a $4 off two for the Crest and a $3 off two totaling $7 for the Crest and Oral-B products I still have the $5 off two for the BIC and the total amount of coupons that I have is $22 worth of coupons so like I said before, the total for all of my items was $43.70. When I'm doing my calculations for a deal where I'm using points and getting points back, I like to calculate the points that I'm going to be using first because that helps you 
figure out if you have met your spend amount after using points. But when you go to checkout, you will tell the cashier that you want to use these points at the end of the transaction. It's just that the calculations that you do the points first. So I want to use 20,000 points in this transaction. Once I deduct 20,000 points, I have a new total of $23.70. At this point, I need to look and see, hmm, does this meet the spend amount? $23 definitely meets the spend 20, so that means I'll be okay K using the 20,000 points and I will still get my 5,000 points back for spending 20. So you can see right here that 23 meets the spend 20. So now I can deduct my coupons. Once the $22 in coupons are deducted, my out of pocket for all of those items is going to be $1.70 plus tax. Then at the end of the transaction, I'm going to get back 5,000 points for spending 20. And if you have one of those paper boosters and you use it on this, man, you are going to have such a great money maker you're also going to get eight thousand points for buying the four crests you're going to get a five dollar register reward for the maybelline and a four dollar register reward for the old spice make sure you submit your receipt to ibotta for the old spice body wash because you'll get a dollar 25 back for each one which is going to give you two dollars and fifty cents back so all in all you're getting back twenty four dollars and fifty cents and that's amazing. So in the end, your final cost is going to be free and a $2.80 money maker. If you're new to Ibotta and you're not sure what Ibotta is, because the Old Spice deal is a deal that you can do on Ibotta, all it is is a rebate app where you can submit your receipt and get money back for the items that are on the app. Once you reach $20, you can cash out. And if you want to be a part of my Ibotta team, just use this code FEVXYDO. And yeah, you'll be a part of my team. Thank you so much for watching. I got a chance to put together five different scenarios. Hopefully you are able to do one of them or you can actually put your own scenario together. Remember that I do have a video that shows you all the deals for Walgreens so stay tuned for that at the end of the video or you could check the iCards for that video.